All right, Scorp. So, you know, I worry about you doing something that you're not comfortable with because with impartiality sitting here, it's saying that you need to take an unbiased look at your situation right now. So from Lay Vampire, the call of the night, daring adventure and excitement, but impartiality from Chakra Wisdom. Now the call of the night is about getting out of your comfort zone and needing to experience some more excitement and some more adventure, doing something that you normally wouldn't do. But impartiality is telling you not to act. It's saying that you need to take an unbiased look at your situation. Now it may be, you know, that you've become comfortable in a situation that is you know, unexciting, underwhelming, right? And with impartiality, it may be that, you know, you need to look at things a little bit differently here and maybe needing to get out of your comfort zone and do something that, you know, is going to bring that adventure into your life. But I also feel like it's a warning. Like I feel both with this, you know, because if you're being pulled to do something, all right, Scorp, here's your overall for the week, the Three of Pentacles. So I look at this and I think, how do we make something work, right? Now, with the Three of Pentacles, we could be talking about a work situation, hoping that people recognize your skills and your talents, you know, wanting to work with other people here. But I, I look at this and I think, if this is the overall, then how are we going to make something work? How is it going to work out? Now, in the past, the Five of Pentacles... So, you know, if we're talking about a work situation with the Five of Pentacles as the past coming through, we're talking about financial strain, financial difficulty, you know, not having enough means to do something, you know, and it may be that you're wanting to work on something, wanting to work with someone, but you just don't have the financial backing to do it. Now, on the other hand, it could be about rejection, right, and needing to work things out. You know, whether you've rejected someone or someone rejected you or casted you out. Now, in the present, the Six of Wands, and I go back to this feeling of wanting to be recognized, wanting, you know, that positive attention, you know, wanting people to see that you've done something good here. Now, with the Six of Wands being in the present moment, you know, depending on what's happening here, you know, this could be positive recognition. You've overcome the financial strain and now you get to work on something here where you get to show off what you can do, right? But we'll see. Very nice, very, very nice. So the Ten of Cups, you know, getting to a place of happiness, you know, and it may be working with a family member here, you know, and it may be that we're getting over, you know, these feelings of not being involved or not being included, you know, with the Six of Wands, but you're talking about overall happiness, the happily ever after, happy home, happy life, you know, and things working out in a really good way. Now, if we're talking about you working with someone, it is leading to, you know, this happiness, right? As long as you continue to work together here with the Three of Pentacles. You know, but with the five, at one point, you know, things are difficult, strained, right? Your best path to follow the Ace of Pentacles, perfect, right? That opportunity is there. This could definitely be about a work situation here. And, you know, I look at this and think that in the past, you're not making a whole lot of money. There's not a lot of security or stability you know, with the Three of Pentacles being the overall here, it, it is starting something new here because you're only at a three. With the Ace of Pentacles, it's about making the most of an opportunity here, you know, to kind of get back on track. With the Six of Wands, it looks good. With the Ten of Cups, it looks even better, you know. So it's not bad. Whatever you've dealt with in the past is temporary. So in your environment, the King of Wands. Now, this could definitely show recognition from somebody, you know, but with the King of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, it may be, you know, working something out with someone in your environment, possibly dealing with a fire sign here, you know, somebody who is recognizing you for, you know, the, the effort that you're putting through with the Three of Pentacles and them wanting to do the same, you know, because you still lead into a place where you're happy, you're happy together. You know, and that opportunity there, 
is perfect with the Ace of Pentacles, right? What is realistic? What is practical? What is going to sustain you? You know, this has the potential to lead to long lasting happiness and security, right? Your hopes and your fears, the hangman. And you know, and it may be that you're fearing that you're going to be waiting around for this person to step up, right? Because I see two people, two people, right? And the only way that these two people are going to be happy is if they start working together. You know, and it may be that at one point you were cold and shut off to someone. You know, but with the Six of Wands, it still looks good to me, you know. But with the Hangman, yeah. you know, and it could just be that you're hoping that somebody else will set aside their ego and see things differently, right? And want to start to, you know, work things out, right? But it still looks good. Oh, yeah. And then coming out the lovers. Very nice. Very, very nice. And with the lovers, right, a major life choices, absolutely, but it could be about a significant relationship here with somebody in your environment. And as long as, you know, the two of you are willing to work things out, you know, it looks like you get to a very happy place here with the Ten of Cups, you know. They may have been keeping you out of the loop on a situation involving money, which is possible. But it's like, you know, once they start letting you in, things get better, right? But I still see this as two people. I mean, you know, two people needing to be together, needing to work together, right? Oof. And then the Ten of Swords, you know, that to me, I look at and think the worst is over, but maybe something had to come to a close here. But I don't think that it's a relationship. Because this wouldn't be here if, you know, there wasn't an opportunity to make things work in a relationship. Now, with the lovers and then looking at the tower with the five of pentacles, you know, definitely some financial strain that shook you, you know, shook the family unit. It could be that, you know, somebody decided to do something drastic and they kept you out of the loop with the five of pentacles here. But, you know, drastic change, right? You know, and it was the major choice that somebody made that caused this. Now, this could be about you doing this. Now, with the magician and looking at the six of wands and then looking at the king of wands, you know, this is about manifesting things, making things happen, right? The aces are great, like I've always said, but they don't mean anything unless you're not willing to do something about it. You know, I don't think that this has to do with anybody manipulating a situation here. I think it's about, you know, okay, things need to drastically change here, right? And there may have been like shocking events that have happened in the past that have caused strain to you in a relationship, which absolutely, but with the magician, there is an opportunity to manifest something better, wiping the slate clean, right? Definitely a possibility here to start over, start new. But with the Ten of Swords, I worry about that a little bit, you know, and I look at the Ten of Cups and I think, yeah, this is definitely about the ending of a cycle and leading to, you know, a new beginning. But it's coming in the form of the Ace of Pentacles rather than the Ace of Cups, which is good because, you know, that means once you get past the difficult things, you know, this could take you the long haul. But with the Ten of Swords being there, you run the risk of ending a situation here before it has a chance to work out. You know, but like I said, with the Ten of Cups being there, you know, it almost like cancels it out with the lovers. Just be careful about the choices that you make here, right? Because it could end a situation, you know, or it could be the ending of hard times, difficult times here, you know, because you are looking at the Six of Wands right now you know, positive attention here, working things out, getting victory over that adversity with the five of pentacles, you know, no matter what the situation was with another person. But it's like alone, things don't work, but together things can get better, right? But I don't know, I worry a little bit about that ten of swords, but I'm hoping that, you know, we're looking at that in the reverse because, you know, with the tower, you've already had enough drastic changes you know and with the tower you know it, it could be that 
you needed to make a major move here. It may have cost you a little bit, but, you know, things can work out, right? It doesn't have to mean that, you know, things are completely over with. I don't know. I worry about that Ten of Swords a little bit, which, you know, I kind of go back to impartiality, right? And then strength. Yeah. You know, needing to pull on your strength here. Just be. Just let things be, you know? Just be within your place in the moment, right? Don't force things to happen. It, you know, just be together. Just be together. Just be happy, right? Wisdom. Needing to pull on some inner wisdom here to grab onto your strength, right? The wisdom to know that, you know, things can get better here, you know, and keep that strength, right? But just be in this situation. Like, this isn't something that needs to end. It's not something that you need to let go of. You know, it doesn't have to be over. And then take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. So take a chance on a new beginning here. Especially if we are talking about love. But look to your inner strength, right? And needing to have the strength here to, you know, continue this. It doesn't have to be over. Like, that. that's what I'm getting from this more than anything. You know? If you feel like things are stagnant right now, you know, again, impartiality is saying don't do something that you're not going to be comfortable with later on. You know, you may be feeling the pull to do something different, but I'm looking at a situation that absolutely can work out for you. All right, Scorp. So no matter what the situation is here, things don't have to be over with. You know, I get that more than anything looking at this because all the way through coming out on this, I see two people, two people happy, two people working together, you know, a really good, strong relationship here, especially with the lovers. Now, if we're just talking about a work situation here, it is about overall happiness, you know, needing to get to a place where you can start over and start working on something here that is going to bring you out of financial difficulty. But because of the lovers coming out, you know, I do think that this is going to be about the two of you, you know, because the Three of Pentacles being the overall, it is people working together, right? Now, with the hangman, I do think that some of you may be fearing that, you know, another person here is not going to put in their part, you know? And I worry about that a little bit, and that's only because there was rejection in the past, right? You know, but like I said, this could have to do with financial strain, but I'm still seeing an opportunity coming through for you to get over this, right? To get past the difficulties possibly with a person in your environment here. The clarifiers though for the lovers, right? If we're talking about the major choices that you're making in your life or within a relationship with the tower, those choices in the past have led to, you know, this destructive nature here. And with the Five of Pentacles, that's not good. Now, for some of you, it could just simply be that a major move was made and it caused some financial strain. But with the Magician and looking at the Ten of Swords, the thing is, is if you can manifest whatever you want, why is it that we're manifesting such a difficult, painful ending? You know, but it could be here that you know, in order for there to be victory, you know, over the difficulties here that you need to, you know, recognize another person, to see another person here and to start working with them, which is possible. This doesn't have to be over. Like I keep getting that this doesn't have to be over, which is why, you know, you may be needing to look at, you know, your situation from an unbiased standpoint here and be careful about you know, doing something that you may not be comfortable with in the long run. Because I still look at this and think this can work. There is a new opportunity here, right? And something that can bring you long-lasting stability and happiness, right? Like it's there, but you have to make the most of that opportunity. And again, with the magician, you need to do this, right? If you can manifest difficulties and destruction and pain, you can create something better. You know, and that seems to be the big thing. I see that a lot in setting boundaries this week with everybody. But for you, Scorp, you know, the major choice that you're making here doesn't have to be the end of happiness, the end of a situation, the end of a relationship. It doesn't need to be that way, you know. But with the Ten of Swords, we could be looking at 
the end of hard times, like the worst being over with and needing to accept that in order to move on to a new beginning. But ultimately, it's your choice. Now, just be, just let things be. You know, you don't need to continuously be doing something here. You know, just be, just be how you are right now. You know, you need, don't need to force anything to happen, but you need to pull on your wisdom here and know that you have the strength to continue moving forward, right? There is a way forward. There is a way for this to work. It doesn't have to be over. Like, I can't say that enough with this one. Now, look to your inner strength, right? And then take a chance on love. Take a chance on this love, right? Have the strength here to continue despite the fact that there may have been difficulties, rejection, financial strain, whatever the situation was. But my big thing here is that it doesn't have to be over. 